How to make a Etsy photo listing on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can create your mock-ups and all of your samples of your uh, item that you're selling. It might be a uh, you know price list, it might be a journal, it might be a printable item, whatever you are selling. You can easily create a Etsy mock-up or a Etsy listing template using Canva. So let's get into it. Now we are going to be uh, creating a sample for a price list. So simply head on over to canva.com and I'm just taking a sample design from over here. I don't need an actual design for this. You can choose to create your own design. I really don't need one. So I'm just going to download a simple one from over here. However, I do recommend that whenever you are looking to, you know, create these designs or create, you know, these price lists, make sure you are well aware of the sizes that you are creating because later on these are super essential and helpful whenever you are building the rest of your Etsy listing. So once you have your original design that you want to use or create with your Etsy account, Take a look at the different samples that other people have provided. Simply search for the type of item that you are going to sell. For us, it's a priceless template that we are selling. And just take a look at some of the different listings that are provided. So we have a editable priceless template, three list designs, four scan to pay options, digital icons, a mock-up. So this is pretty simple, easy, and effective. So you guys can see this covers all of the basic bases. Now I have eight basic bases that I like to cover. First off is the title page where you have your basic information about what kind of product you have. Then how, you know, what do you use that for? Then you have an example of different color schemes, the features or the benefits, how the product is used, so a basic mock-up, and then a how it works section to show people how they are going to, you know, create and edit and download the uh, template. And then a what's included section where you can include different formats and sizes and bonus items and a simple FAQ or if you have any questions, contact over here. So this is all you have to do to create a Etsy listing. So you guys can see I have a couple of examples of some good listing items. And you guys can see all of these follow a similar pattern. So let's go on to Canva and I will open up a, um, you know, blank design. Now, how are you supposed to know what size you should use for a Etsy listing? Well, if you go on to Canva and let's just go on to Canva over here. Now, if you just search for Etsy listing, they're going to give you some random sizes and there are you know etsy has two basic listing sizes one is the rectangular one and one is the slightly more square one but i do recommend that you open up etsy so just search for etsy listing recommended size and you guys will be able to see the best practices for etsy so the recommended size is 2000 on the shortest side of the image and a resolution of 72 ppi so that's all you have to do to make sure that you have a good you know, listing image. So head on over to Canva, click on custom size over here. And usually the width is the shorter size. So I'm just going to do 2000 by 25 like this. And once you have your listing, uh, you know, section created, you guys will be able to see this. Now, the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to build your basic page which is going to be your title page so in our title page you just want to upload your template or whatever you're selling so we have this little product over here and i'm just going to place it right over here and then i'm going to click on text and i'll make this uh slightly gray and then just go into text click on add heading just add customizable priceless template like this and then you want to make sure you're not making this too complicated. The easier it is, the better it is to, you know, list it. The reason for this is these people, people that are looking through Etsy are going to be searching for so long whenever they are browsing Etsy. So you want to make sure it's just basic and it's not super complicated. Now, once you have that, go into elements and search for Canva. 
Just take a simple Canva logo and make sure you place that over here. And this is going to be the first image in your listing. So it's going to be basic. It's going to be easy to understand and easy to read. Now, after you have your first image, you want to go on to the second section and you can just click on add page over here. And the second section is your price list or, you know, uh, what is this item supposed to be used for? So what I'm going to do is you guys can see, I'll show you guys an example. So we have our price list template over here. And they show you guys this. So you guys can see this is like a mock-up. Plus it shows you how uh, this is going to be used. So I am just going to go back into Canva. And I'm going to go into our elements. Search for a mock-up over here. And you can see you have multiple different mock-up options. And you can just open one over here. And you can, you know, insert your mock-up however you want it. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go into the frame section and I'm going to use this iPad frame and then I'm going to paste my image, obviously my price list, and then I'm going to resize it as well so it fits better. And I'm going to resize it like this, like so. And once you have placed your mock-up, you're just going to add some basic text over here on the side. So let's just take some inspiration from pre-existing listings. So you have your mock-up. I'm going to go back into Canva. Easy to use and customizable. Now the next section I like to create is obviously a color section. Now a lot of people don't realize the power that kind of section can have. So create ad page and add your uh, item that you're selling. So we, for us it's this price list add it over here and once we have our item you want to display it in a different color scheme so just click on command c command v copy and paste this edit this photo or if it's just easier open up your original canva that you used to create this specific item so we have our priceless template over here and then you're just going to click on it or you can go into your brand top and use any of your brand colors so let's say we use um i think i'm gonna customize this a little but using some different colors like pastel purples that's a good color scheme i think so and then just changing these obviously and then editing these as well the fresco one and then you can choose, you know, the color that you want for the rest of the stuff as well. But once you have changed the color scheme, you can just click on share, click on download and download this PNG, go into your Canva listing design. And then you want to upload the uh, variated version or the different colored version. So just making sure this is downloaded. So this is now downloaded and I will click on over here. And now I will just reduce the image size and then place it right over here. Click on elements and just search for arrows in the graphic section. And you have this simple little arrow. Click on flip. And now I'm just going to place it like so. And then I'm going to go back into my text section, add a heading, add your own brand colors. And then I'm going to add the font that I was previously using this and then i also like to add the canva logo because i don't know just having the canva logo can make it you know a lot more professional or easy to use so i can just going to add this one to the top and then we're going to add our next page and the next page is going to be something like a mock-up or a how it works page now a how it works page is usually just text so it's really not that difficult it's just going to explain how you're supposed to use the product so uh this is just going to be you know how to edit it how to access it so once you purchase the product maybe you will get a uh, link or a pdf or a word document with the link so whatever method you are using to sell your listing product then you want to just list that method as well as uh, a what's included form where you're just going to list the different sizes that you have. And you also want to make sure that you leave a contact form if 
anyone has any questions or queries and also make sure to clearly mention in your how it works section that this is a digital product and no physical product would be shipped to the customer. And in this way, you can create these amazing little Etsy listings and you can really maximize with the products that you are creating. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.